Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and today we're going to be cooking up some grilled baby back ribs using our smoker box. Let's get started. So to get started, I take some warm water and I soak my chips, a couple of handfuls, and you want them to soak for at least 30 minutes. And today I'm using mesquite for this recipe. Okay, now we're gonna prepare our easy dry rub recipe. Okay, I'm just grab my mixing bowl. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of brown sugar followed by a teaspoon of granulated garlic, granulated onion, and a teaspoon of ground ginger. Drop that in. And then finally, a tablespoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper, and a half teaspoon of cayenne. And I just whisk the rub around, get it all mixed together. I have one rack of baby back ribs that I cut in half, and already sprayed with apple cider vinegar. So now let's pack on the rub. Okay, so I just grab a handful of the rub, kind of sprinkle it on from the heavens to get a nice even coat. A little more over here. Just kind of pack it in there. Okay, let's start the grill. Okay, so I got my little smoker box. I'm gonna lay some drained wood chips in here. Got the box filled up, put the lid back on, slide her back into the grill. Now I'm going to turn on the two burners on the smoker box side, and we're going to get that heating up on high until our wood chips start to smoke. All right, I'm starting to catch the aroma from the smoker box, and the grill is sitting right now at 350. Let's put on our ribs. So we're doing indirect heating. Grill is sitting at 350. I'm gonna lay one rack up here. These two grills, or sorry, burners are not on. These over here are on about medium low. And like I said, I can start to get the aroma from the smoker box. We're gonna close this and check them in one hour. All right, we have the ribs on the grill. Let's make up the guava glaze. Okay, we're gonna start with a 10 ounce Hawaiian Sun guava jelly from Hawaii. I'm just going to put that into a saucepan, followed by two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, and then I have a heaping teaspoon of my garlic shallot puree, and then a tablespoon of fresh ground ginger, and finally two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and a teaspoon of sriracha hot sauce. You're gonna to wanna to take your whisk, bring this all together. Oh yeah, you can smell that ginger. Okay, now we're gonna make use of our side burner. I'm gonna turn on the burner. Set it about medium high. All right, you're gonna to wanna to stay here and stir the glaze the whole time until it comes to a boil. All right, you can see it's coming to a boil. I'm gonna cut the heat. Put the lid on. And it's just gonna sit there until we're ready to start basting. Okay, after an hour, we're gonna change out the wood chips. Be careful, this is really hot. So I'm just gonna dump these into a bowl. Put some water on that just to be safe. <laughs> and just add more chips. All right, I've reloaded the chips. I'm gonna give the ribs a little turn. We'll let them go probably another two to three hours. Okay, after about two and a half hours, the internal temperature of the ribs are about 155. It's time to put on the glaze. Get our guava glaze going here. You just wanna brush it around. Get a generous amount on there for sure. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna turn them. I'm gonna base the other side. I'm gonna put a lot on this top part. Okay, everyone, it's been about 10 minutes. It's time to pull the ribs off the grill.
they're gonna want to set for about 10 minutes before we cut into them. I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, let's cut up the ribs and eat. Get my chef knife in there between each one. I like to do four per serving. I meant 40. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm just gonna place four ribs onto my plate. Get a little bit more of the glaze. I actually let this reduce a little bit more on the stove to thicken it up. I just want to drizzle a little bit so you can get your fingers nice and messy. Oh yeah. And then finally, a little garnish of chives from the garden. You can also garnish with sesame seeds if you want. Well, we're done. We're ready to eat. Remember, when you're serving ribs, make sure you have plenty of napkins for you and your guests. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh man. Oh man. I can't stop eating. If you love ribs, you have to give this recipe a try. It's got the tang, a little bit of spice from that cayenne, sweet from the guava jelly. This is a hit. And remember, if you're liking these videos, please share, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time we make a new video. All right, guys, as always, thanks for tubing in.